There are four major steps in aflatoxin prevention. They are timely harvest, careful drying, proper sorting, and good storage. Step 1. Timely harvest. To make sure your granite plants are strong all the way up to harvest, you must harvest on time. If you leave the nuts sitting in the field for too long, they will become weak and could become infected with mold. Step 2. Careful drying. Immediately after harvesting, put the plants upside down in the field so that the pods are in the air and do not touch the soil. The very same day, if possible, pluck the pods off the stems. Do not hit the granules in the field while you are plucking them. After plucking, bring the granules to where they will be dried. While drying, the granules should not be in contact with the soil. You can dry the pores on rooftops or on taps. You may need several taps to dry your entire crop. Old storage bags that have been cleaned can be sewn together to make a tap. Be careful not to break the granules when you are spreading them to dry. Use a long-handed rake to spread them around on the tabs or roofs. Do not walk on the poles as this could cause them to break and allow mold to reach the nuts. As much as possible, avoid keeping the granules while they dry. If it rains, cover the granules or move them to shelter. Immediately after the rain stops, take off any cover you have placed over them or return them to the tabs or rooftops and spread them out to dry again. Step 3. Proper sorting. The granules should be inspected after they are dried but before being stored in bags. Once they are dried, look for moldy shells, empty shells, shells with holes, shells that are broken, and throw this away. Bad nuts can be used to make pressed oils, but be sure to dispose of the cake that remains after pressing out the oil. Do not feed the bad nuts to humans or livestock. Step 4. Good storage. Always use clean storage bags. You can either use new bags or old bags that have been cleaned thoroughly. To clean old bags, turn them inside out. Shake or brush off any visible dirt. Wash them and then dry in the sun at least a day on each side. Bags of nuts should always be stored off the ground. You can create a simple platform with rocks and sticks and place the bags on it. Leave a space between the bags and the walls of your storage area so air can move around the bags. Finally, put insecticide on the surface below the platform on which the bags sit to prevent insects from reaching the stored nuts. Following these four steps, Family harvest, careful drying, proper sorting, and good storage will help keep you and your family safe from aflatoxin poisoning.